Over Memorial Day weekend, I completed my first through hike backpacking. Me and a couple of friends hiked what is known as the Art Lobe Trail, roughly 30 miles of trail through the beautiful Pisgah National Forest, close to the Blue Ridge Parkway. On this hike, I was reminded of the reality of something I recently learned about, the number one trail pollutant from humans hiking along trails. Today, I wanted to educate you all on this subject, as well as share some beautiful scenery from this 30-mile trek. Toilet paper is not biodegradable unless you're buying a specific brand that advertises it is biodegradable. So, if you go hiking or camping, you need to pack your toilet paper out. You need to put it in a bag, like an odor-proof bag, or you need to get one of these little bandanas. It's a pee rag. If you put it in the sun, it sanitizes it. It's totally fine. I know it sounds gross for all you noobs out there, but this is 10 times more gross. Do not leave your toilet paper in the woods. It stays there and other people have to look at it. That's right, not plastic, not snack trash, but toilet paper is the number one pollutant on our hiking trails. I was informed of this by a friend of mine who volunteers with the organization Leave No Trace, and I was surprised myself. I used to bury my toilet paper, which is what I thought we were supposed to do because I thought that toilet paper was biodegradable, but unless you have a brand that specifically for that, it is not, and so that toilet paper just sits there. You need to pack your toilet paper out, whether it's number one or number two, and you can get odor-proof bags in order to make sure that you're not having to smell that your whole hike. You can buy these bags at any outdoor store such as REI or you can also get a pee rag for number one like I mentioned earlier. It is basically just a bandana that you use to wipe yourself. Number one only, do not wipe your butt with this, that's gross. Pee is sterile and I've put some links below so you can read more about this but basically you wipe yourself and then you hang it on the back of your pack or lay it out in the sun and it will dry and the sun will also kill all the bacteria that might be in it. So that's just an alternative way if you don't want to be carrying around your own toilet paper and you aren't going to be on a trail where you need to go number two but I would recommend always bringing a bag just in case because you never know when you gotta go.
If you've been enjoying my videos, please share with all of your friends and tell them to subscribe too. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> so weird, I? Wow. I made a sexual